th people you're at war with maybe have some sort of red effect on them. I guess there's a little there's a little sword. But wait, what are the hearts then? Three swords, two hearts. Because it'd be something. Because I guess if because if you're fighting two empires, you know, different colors. But as long as there you know there's some sort of effect that shows this is a bad unit. Hmm. Yeah, red outline or something, maybe something like that. Okay, so obviously we can't fight these guys. Because they have way too much shit. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to retreat back. Also this, um, which is an easy... I, like, I, I totally get how this happens. Um, but if I have a unit selected and I right-click over here... Uh, maybe it did go through, but I thought we had an issue where it wasn't. Where it's like eating the input because it was in front of things. I don't know. Uh, apparently, I'm not doing the trading. You're still going to move to here. You are doing roady things. So come here. And then road. Um, I guess you can just keep wandering around. That's fine. But yeah, the only reason I was like that is like, okay, so I lost the Slinger. That's fine. What did I lose it to? He's only got two de do dudes there. What's going on? And then it was like, okay, now, now I get it. Is this some stone over here? There's some stone. Although I still can't harvest it unless I have stone cutting. So yeah, we have to wait for the tech regardless. So I can't fortify inside of a city? Interesting. Also, do cities have passive defenses? There's no indication that it does, so I assume I'm going to have to keep a unit in here. But I actually don't know. A city already has... Okay, so it has the built-in fortification built in. Alright, that makes sense. That's very reasonable. Oh, um, oh, he's now um, if I would request uh, an alert uh, mode. So right now you can tell a unit to sleep. So it sleeps until it's moved or gets attacked. Um, I would like a version of it that's like it sleeps until it um, an enemy becomes near, you know, adjacent or within vision range or movement range or something like that. I find that incredibly useful. Because otherwise what you have to do is you have to keep panning around. To, like spot enemy units which are currently difficult to spot um and uh and know that you have to wake up a guy and you know maybe attack first especially since there's no defensive bonus or defensive like counterattack. do i just want to rank up some units some more i've got the points i kind of feel like it probably is a good idea um oh i was looking at the wrong thing i'm like no i have 300 no no wrong thing so never mind marriage offer for the duke We'll, take, we'll get another judge. Although, do the, the the governors have to match the families? In which case, the people that are coming from other families, unless they marry into the family and then they get they count as part of that family, maybe. And that's possible. Um, Carthaginians complaining about raiders. Suspect hundreds of citizens of Egypt or search of food or shelter. We can provide the raiders with food and shelter. Um, it would make Carthage happy. It would cost us some money. Give us some XP. All right, let's do it. Uh, we'll get a painter. Okay, we're gonna get another Ramicide city here. I know they're not close to each other, but they're kind of our primary military people, so that's gonna be okay. Um, I'm gonna cut some trees here for a little tree injection. And you have a road on this tile, you do. Come down here, build a road by buying stone. Oh, 
Oops. I could undo, but actually, no, I'm fine with this move. Actually, can you undo? All right, so you can you can cheese a little bit because you can move over, reveal, and be like, no, that was a mistake, and undo it. Now, you can implement the undo system such that, okay, anything that, like, reveals something or does something like that can't be undone. But you know what? You can save scum anyway, right? Basically, I think with the undo feature, you're basically saying you could already do this by save scumming. So let's just avoid you doing a save and reload. It'll be interesting to see. I don't know if the, the undo button does anything in multiplayer. I would assume there's no undo button in multiplayer because I'm not sure how you would balance it. Stone cutting is going to be here in one year. Okay. Let me cut this then. Um, I'm not going to start anything because I want to start a quarry next turn. Yeah, playing single player is futile. Multiplayer doesn't have the undo. Yeah, so then that, that, that works out brilliantly. Because again, yeah. It's like, yeah, you can do cheesy things, but you can already do it with saves coming. So what the heck, right? Mm -hmm. You could set an, an Iron Man mode where you can't, you know, you can't reload from previous saves and it also disables the undo function if, like, people want to have, like, if there's a score screen at the end of the game and people want to be able to compare how good they did, well, then you could have, like, an Iron Man toggle that disables that and then on the score screen confirms that, hey, they were playing on Iron Man mode, good for them. But yeah, you can cheese that in Iron Man mode too because you just, uh, you just... Alt F4, or, you know, Control Alt Delete, kill the game in Taskmaster, and then restart, and it'll just you know restart from the, the start of turn save. So I mean, the same thing happens when you play any of the Paradox games, right? You play EU4 or whatever in Iron Man mode, you can totally cheese it still. So it doesn't matter if it's running on a person's computer, that you're never gonna be able to avoid it, um, and that's okay. Uh, we can gain XP for ourselves. Um, however, we are again likely to die soon. So rather than do it to ourselves, let's go and give Seti here, our grandson, plus one discipline. All right. We can now do things with rocks. We can get battle lines to start being able to build macemen, which actually might be useful to, you know, unlock some higher tier units for ourselves. Egypt has a decision regarding its military training. Summon court, support the, the creation of professional army. Oh, that is, hold on. That is a new law. Professional army versus the volunteers. Can hurry production of population. This unlocks higher upkeep and archives. However, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go and unlock mythology. Um, There's no active decision. Hmm. Oh, I don't have enough money to buy the stone I'm missing. Uh, but we can start quarrying. Let's go up into here. Uh, oh, that's outside my territory. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Undo. There we go. So we can save. We can save ourselves an order. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. That is insane. It is so good. Um, there's a garrison there. This is empty, although... Yeah, no, whatever. We'll build it there. And yeah, oh, adjacent mountain plus 40%. But this isn't lush, so we probably wouldn't want to build a farm there anyway. Okay. And yeah, if we mouse over quarry, we can see the numbers. We'd actually get 10, 12. Wait, is it per mountain? Because it's a 12 stone spot there. Oh my. Oh my. 
Okay. That's great. One of the things I really like about Civ 6 is the, um, like, working out adjacencies for districts and stuff. It's actually kind of a fun minigame, and this is, this is in place here. This is happening. Not for... I mean, these are sort of the same, effectively similar to districts, except building districts in Civ 6 is kind of boring because it takes so long, it ties up your whole city production. Moving the mechanic, or at least a similar mechanic, an equivalent mechanic, to a worker action, I think I like better. You're right, I could sell food and then buy things. That is, that is a good point, but we can just hold off for a scooch. So I can shift space just to lock you in. That's going to be okay. Oh, the moon is the sleeping thing. That's okay. I might remap the end of turn from five to something else. I don't know what, but I might. <laughs> I think that was a scout, but I like the idea of, like, he, he guts here and he's like, whoa, I came to the wrong neighborhood. Um, now, hmm... It would be interesting. So here, it only shows you what you can build on tile you're standing on. But if I'm like, okay, I would like to build a quarry, it would be nice to be able to get a preview of... I don't think there's a good way of doing this. I don't think I'm realistically asking for this as a feature. But as an idea, it would be nice if I could still mouse over sort of quarry in here and show me all the good quarry spots. Maybe while holding alt or control or shift. You know what I mean? No, I tried holding alt. Because that was my first assumption. Alt does everything. Well, you can hold control while hover hovering over a different tile. Okay. So that shows me what I could build in that tile. That is actually really nifty keen. That's not what I'm asking for, but this is really good. Because, okay, what I'm asking for is... When, you, when you're in a place where you can build a quarry, if you mouse over quarry, it highlights on the table, on the, on the map, all the quarry spots and how much it would produce. Is there a key combination that allows you to see all the quarry spots if you're not standing on a tile that can build this quarry? It's a very, very specific edge case. And again, would not criticize if this couldn't come to bear, but could you imagine something like you hold control and alt and it just shows you all the things a, a worker can build? And then you can just mouse over things. Something like that. I don't know what it would be, but... Listen to my words before you type. Listen to my words before you type. I am currently standing in a place where I can build a quarry, which means I can mouse over quarry, so it shows me all the quarry spots. Let me undo one step. I am now standing in a place where I cannot build a quarry, therefore quarry is not on the list, therefore I can't mouse over it. What I'm asking for is, is there a way to show the quarry option here, even if I can't build on this tile, so that I can mouse over it and show me all the spots? It is cool that I can hold control, mouse over a spot, and it'll show me everything I can build there. That is neat. That is still not what I'm asking for, though. There you go. Mm -hmm. So as long as you can, you can legally build it in this tile you're on, you can mouse over and see all the other tiles you can legally build it on. Which is super fucking awesome! It's like, it's so good... That the fact that there's a missing combination, there's an alignment of like Mars being in the seventh house or whatever, where it doesn't do the thing. It's like, oh, but, but I love the thing. Why can't I have the thing? The thing is cool. See, that's the problem with giving people f awesome features. Then they just want more. <laughs> um, -da -da -da. So yeah, we're still uh, not really doing Babylony kind of things. But, I mean, unless I just dedicate to building tons of military, which clearly I need more of. You know, we were kind of peaceful times. It was the good times. Now it's not no longer the good times. Now it's the war times. And I do have to focus a little bit more on military and try to overwhelm. Um, delegation marriage proposal for SETI. I don't know. You, th okay, this one's worth a total of six points. This one's worth a total of four points. Done. Easy way to make the decision. Ooh! Two fusion... Fusing, feuding... Wow, I've been streaming for three and a half hours without a break. I, I actually haven't even finished a single soda this entire time. Um, I'm going to be real thirsty when we finish here. Two feuding Thracian warlords have arrived at court seeking an impartial arbitrator. Arbiter. They claim that violence will spill over into our lands if their conflict cannot be resolved. 
After explaining the intricacies of their dispute, they ask you for a decision. What shall we suggest? Cut the baby in half. Is that an option? Convince both parties to share responsibility because we have awesome wisdom. That'll give us XP. Or we can say it's no concern of ours. We'd go to war with the Thracians. Yeah, we'll just do this. Sounds fun. Oh, delegations from distant kingdom have arrived at court. As a mark of respect, they offer us a choice of exotic creatures to add to a royal menagerie. What shall we choose? Monkeys are pretty cute. Tropical fish are beautiful. Menagerie is full enough. Pet monkey owner. Or pet fish owner. I'm going to go with the monkey. Because I can't imagine that we have the means... I guess it would be an outdoor pond or something like that. I'm like, we don't have aquariums. We can't make filters. I don't have test strips to check the pH level of the water. We Fish are actually like really, fairly tricky to maintain if you don't have exactly the right thing. Um, whereas monkeys, I don't know. We can just feed them some fruit. They'll be fine. Boom. Monkeys can do stuff. Be a trained assassin monkey. I do like the fact we haven't done it yet, but we can assassinate people. Assassinate, imprison. If we have spy masters or chancellors, which we don't right now. For all I know, I've done a terrible job developing my, uh, you know, my empire here, but I have literally nothing to compare it to at this point. I have no idea if this is going well or bad compared to, to the, the baseline, because it's our very first blind go at this. Um... Yeah, food we still have tons of. So again, here, I'd be like, okay, I want to build a quarry. I need to figure out a good place to do it. So I guess the closest I could do is sort of at least control and mouse over things to see places where I'd be allowed to build a quarry. And obviously, next to the mountain is going to be better um, because of adjacency bonuses. So we'll just assume we'd move next to a mountain. So this would be an 8. This would be a 10 spot. So we'll go to the place that would give us 10, and we will start on that quarry. Man, our economy is going to be so much better now that we actually have stone. Guys, we can get stoned now. Do, do, do. Um, at a certain point, I'm like, what are we going to do with these scouts? We'd just be consuming a bunch of orders, moving them around. Um, okay, second settler. So we've got a settler there. That's great. We're going to send one down over here. Um, actually, I think the actual place that says city site is what I want because it's going to get these pearls. So I'll move over here. We'll see what's there. A bunch of dudes. Hello, Danish military units. Well, luckily, we're playing a pretty low difficulty setting, so I don't think the AI is being very aggressive, because I was going to say, they could probably run over us if they tried. Hey, same name. You mill quarries in all non-urban piles. I don't think we... Yeah, so someone must have been asking where you can build them. Mm-hmm. Um... Well... I mean, there's not a whole lot of game left for Hachepsit, probably. She's 71 at this point. Let's uh, let's give her a little bit of wisdom. Start ambition, kill 10 enemy units. Would that replace my old one? Oh, right. Did we ever figure out why... Why I can't do mythology? Do I need the theology technology and we don't have it unlocked and it's not showing it to us in the tooltip? I don't know where theology would be. I mean, divination might lead to something like it. Oh, yeah, theology's over here. Okay, so in the tooltip, it's missing... Like, maybe pointing out that we don't have this this um, this technology. Okay. So... I like how there's a thieving monkey event. Hold on a sec. Oh, wait. Did it, did it pick something? <gasps> Undo. I was hitting one. One is the hotkey to, to cycle through these decisions. I'm thinking hitting one actually chose the first option. Which is fine, but caught me a bit off guard. So first of all, our adorable court monkey keeps getting into trouble. He steals jewelry from palace chambers and brings them to you as a gift. Our advisor's not pleased. Treasure could use the boost. This would give us money. All families would be pissed. Return stolen items. All families would love us. Enough monkey business. <laughs> uh, we would still get the money, still upset anyone, but we'd no longer be a monkey owner. Now, we'll return the items, make our families happy. That's going to be okay. Um, so we're going to change our ambition since we can't do mythology right now anyway. Oh, you need to do it with disciples. It's a unit action.
can establish theology. Oh. So is theology a technology we can either research or do with a disciple? That's kind of interesting. Okay, so I'm going to go, I'll take the money. And we are going to try to sneak out a disciple at some point. 